All right, I'm out here with the Glue and Fly Series F-22 Mini version 2. I have not flown this plane since I completed my line of sight training with it. So, definitely time to get it in the air. Unfortunately, I forgot that I have the HTIRC Hornet 20 amp speed controller in this thing. So, you'll probably hear a non-linear throttle and you'll probably hear some desyncing, but we'll see if we can muddle through it. Let's get it in the air. Bad launch. Oh, yeah, hear that desyncing? This has the Racer Star 2207. 2500 kV motor on it. Pushes it really well with a three cell, six by three composite prop on it. 3S, 800 milliamp, 25C lipo. So for a trainer, it has quite a bit of power to it. Now, what I did when I first started training line and sight with this plane was I flew it with a two-cell 800 milliamp lipo, so that so it would not have too much power, and that worked out really well for me. It made it lighter; you could fly it more slowly, but it did have enough power to get out of trouble. And I would recommend, I would say, if you're going to use it as a trainer on a two-cell. I would recommend replacing the 6x3 prop with a 6x4. Give it just a little more thrust on a two cell. And it makes a great trainer aircraft. I would say this is a beginner to intermediate park jet. And I will have um, instructions in the show notes on this video on how you can get the plans for this little F-22 Mini version 2 if you choose to. Build it and fly it. It's a great flying plane. It's It doesn't have the performance of the version 3, but it wasn't designed to either. I wanted to come out with a park jet that you could use as a trainer and I did about half of my line of sight training on this particular plane. And it's got a wrinkled nose. It's got some abrasions on it from my line of sight training, but as you can see, it's still flying and it's still flying very well. May, you know, with that wrinkled up nose, it may have a little more drag than it had when, <laughs> when, I, when I first flew it. But she moves out pretty good for a trainer, I think. And it's a very, very forgiving aircraft that has a very, very light wing loading. And it is just a blast to fly, I have to say. But I do need to put a better speed controller in it, that's for sure. Okay, there's the alarm. Let's see if we can bring it in and land it. Easy peasy. I still have a blast flying this little plane. I have over 150 flights on this airframe now, and the vast majority of that was during my line of sight training, and it survived all my punishment. So it's fairly durable, too. Don't forget, there will be um, instructions in the show notes on how you can get a copy of the plans for this little uh, trainer to intermediate park jet. If you choose to do so, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to check out our Patreon site. We have a lot of free content there as well. And I will see you in the air.